Hello everyone. Question number five, part one. Again, I told you that first of all, it is always important to write it in this format so that the questions become easy. In the first equation, I can write it as nine minus x plus four is equal to y plus seven. When I take this y on the left hand side, so minus x minus y is equal to seven, and this thirteen I have taken on the right hand side, it is minus thirteen. So it is x plus y is equal to six. This is the first equation. What I am doing is seven minus thirteen comes out to be minus six. So I am multiplying the whole equation by a negative sign, so it becomes x plus y equal to six. Or I can say I am taking this on the right hand side and this on the left hand side, which does not make any effect on the first. If I look at the second equation again, two x plus two y is equal to four minus three y. I take this three y on left hand side. It is two x plus five y. That is two y and plus three y. That is five y. Is equal to four. So this is the second equation. Now, as we know that we have written it in the simplest, simplest form of a x plus b y is equal to c. So here the coefficient is two and here the coefficient is one. So we multiply it by one and multiply this by two. So the first equation becomes two x plus two y is equal to twelve. And the second equation is two x plus five y. Is equal to four. Directly we subtract the two. This can be cancelled out. Minus three y becomes equals to eight, and the value of y becomes minus eight upon two. And when I put the value of y, that is minus eight upon three. So because we have simplified this equation, we get this. So it's always better to put the value of y in the simplest form of equation. So it is x. Minus eight upon three, the value of y is equal to six. So x becomes six plus eight upon three, that is twenty-six upon three as the answer. Suppose we take three LCM, so it is eighteen plus eight, that is twenty-six upon three. So this is the value of x. Again, if we look at the second question, it's always beneficial to put it in the format of a x plus b y is equal to c. We take six LCM in the first equation, it is twelve x. Plus x minus y. Here, one thing is very, very important: that if in case there is any fraction, it's always beneficial that we take it in bracket. Because normally, what happens that when we do not take it in bracket, this sign comes out to be as it is when there is a positive sign. But if we look at the second equation, it is a negative sign. So this means that the Both the content, either 2x or y, both has to be multiplied by negative sign. So it's always beneficial to take it as a bracket. So if I take it as a bracket, I can write it as this. Because there is a positive sign, directly we can uh, solve it. So this is 12x plus x minus y is equals to 12, or 13x minus y is equals to 12. So this is the first equation. When I talk about the second equation, we take the LCM as three. It is three x minus bracket two x plus y is equals to one. Because normally, what happens that when we do not take it in bracket, we write plus y as plus y, which is wrong. Here, I can write it. If we solve it, it is three x minus two x minus y is equals to three. So it can be written as five x minus y is equals to three, which is the second equation. Now, as we know that the coefficient of x here is 13 and the coefficient of x here is 5, but on the other hand, y coefficient is minus 1 here and y coefficient is minus 1 here, then we can directly solve the two instead of multiplying the first and second by the coefficient of x respectively. Because if the coefficient of y are same, then also we can solve the simultaneous equation. So the first equation is 13x minus y is equals to 12, and the second equation is 5x minus y is equals to 3. Directly solving it, it can be cancelled out. So it is 8x is equals to 9, and the value of x becomes 9 upon 8. So we can cancel out the x by taking the coefficient to be equal, and we can also cancel out the y by taking the coefficient to be Well, this is also known as elimination method only. So, if we put the value of x in any of the equations which we have simplified, like this, so it is 
5 multiply by 9 upon 8, the value of x minus y is equal to 3. So minus y will be equal to 3 minus 45 upon 8. So minus y is equal to minus, it is, if we take 8 LCM, it is 24 minus 45, that is minus 21 upon 8. Adding, sub, uh, multiplying the whole by a negative sign, the value of y comes out to be 21 upon 8. So we can solve both the value of x and y. If we look at question number 6 part 1, again I told you that we should simplify first of all if when we take A LCM in the first equation it is 32x plus. I told you this x minus y it's always beneficial to take it in bracket is equal to 17 otherwise we would have, could have done it wrong. So it is for 33x minus y is equal to 17 into 8 that is 136. This is the first equation. If we look at the second equation, we can take 3 as the LCM and it comes out to be 6y plus 3x minus, again I have taken it in bracket, 5y plus 2 is equal to 2. So it is 6y plus 3x minus 5y minus 2 is equal to 6. Further solving it, it is 3x plus y is equal to 8. This is the second equation. Here the coefficient of y when we solved it are minus 1 and minus 1. Here the coefficient of y is minus 1 in the first equation and plus 1 in the second equation. So we have various methods. Here we can either multiply the second equation by 11 so that the coefficient of x becomes equal and then to subtract it. We can multiply the first equation by minus 1 so that the coefficient of y becomes equal and then we can subtract. This can also be solved by another logic of adding the two equations. See, 33 plus x, 33x minus y is equal to 136 is the first equation and 3x plus y is equal to 8 is the second equation. If I add these two equations, simply adding them, this can be cancelled out. If I am subtracting, then it will become minus 2y but if I am adding, so minus y can be cancelled out by plus y. So here 36x, because now I am adding, I am not subtracting the 2, is equal to 144 and the value of x becomes 144 upon 36 and if you cancel it out, it comes out to be 8. When I put the value of x8, either in this equation or this equation, the simplified form, so this is 3 multiplied by 8 plus y is equal to 8. So the value of y becomes 8 minus 24 and that is minus 16. So this way we can solve the value of x and y. If we look at the second part of question number 6, x minus 3y is equal to 3x minus 1 is equal to 2x minus y. It looks like that there is a simple equation but it is not an equation. These are two different equations. The first can be this and the second can be this. So I can write it as x minus 3y is equal to 3x minus 1 as the first equation and 2x, sorry, 3x minus 1 is equal to 2x minus y as the second equation. So if I write it in the simplified form, this 3x I have to, I have to take on the left hand side. So it becomes x minus 3x that is minus 2x minus 3y is equal to minus 1. As all the terms are negative, I multiply it by a negative sign, so it becomes 2x plus 3y is equal to 1. That's the first equation. When I talk about the second equation, this I take on the left hand side, so 3x minus 2x will become x. This y go to the left hand side becomes plus y is equal to minus 1 go to the right hand side becomes 1. So this is the second equation. Now we know that the coefficient of x and coefficient of y both are different. So we multiply the second equation by 2. So first equation is 2x plus 3y is equal to 1 and second equation will become 2x plus 2y is equal to 2. Subtracting the 2 because the sign of both the equations are positive that is why we are subtracting. Here the sign of 1 was negative and 1 was positive that is why we are adding the 2 equations. Subtracting the 2, we cancel it out, so y will become minus 1. When I put the value of y minus 1 in this equation, so it is x 
minus 1 is equal to 1 and x is equal to 2. So this way we can solve the question of linear equation by the elimination method. So if in case you have any problem, you can contact us or email us and in the next class we will talk about question number 7 onwards. Thank you.